Hello everyone, my name is Jet, and welcome to part three of 5M scripting with TypeScript. In this video, we're going to make a simple script that greets players whenever they join. It is going to be a command that all players can execute. So right off the bat, we do have our template already loaded up. Um, this comes with this command, which spawns a car. And um, I'm gonna go over how to make a command a little bit later, but um, I just want to let you guys know a few things about this command and what makes TypeScript very nice. So you'll notice that everything is defined for what it is. So in TypeScript, everything is defined with a type. So the source is a number, args is a string that's also an array, and then a raw command is a string. We actually don't use raw command in this command. Um, it's just not needed. And uh, we also don't use source either. But in my experience, I have always known that um, if you put source, args, and raw command, the register command function works on client side. Uh, if you don't add those traits, it just doesn't work, at least for me. Maybe it's just the way I have it set up, but so far it just hasn't worked for me. But basically this is just getting um, the uh, model that's from the argument that the player specifies after running the command or typing the command, and it just spawns that vehicle. You want to notice that uh, to do an if statement to detect if something is true or false, you would do if and then followed by parentheses and what you want to call. So for this example right here, it's making sure that the vehicle is an actual vehicle in GTA, because if it's not, it won't do anything. And that's what the return does. And then, you know, if it's true, it'll run the rest of the code. Um, right here, this is a while loop. So um, that just says while uh, the has model loaded is false, just wait a fraction of a second. And that's what delay does up here. And it corresponds to this variable right there. And then again, another while loop. And all the rest are just variables that just define everything that makes it easier for us to call. Um, that way we don't have to type out, um, you know, get hash key model. If we put this right here, it would still work, but we just don't want to type that out. And that's what's amazing about variables is that you can name a function that you're about to call to a variable. That way you can call it easier. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a basic command that all players can run that allows them to greet players. So this should teach how to make your own events and then assign parameters and variables. So this is going to use both the client and server side. And we're going to start on server side first, because on server side, we need to make sure it's a global command. So register command and then greet. And we're going to use source I have to put parentheses right here. We're going to use source. We have to define it as a number. And then um, args is going to be a string that is an array, which is square brackets. And then um, we have to end the parentheses and press equals and greater hand sign, and then followed by a curly bracket. And inside these curly brackets, this is where we're going to define everything. So we're going to make a variable with a const name and this is args with the first argument that is defined so the first argument defined is zero when you do a raise the number begins at zero instead of one so in this case if we had multiple arguments in this command the next argument would be args square bracket one instead of two we also notice that the entire thing is highlighted in red that is because we have to make sure that this isn't restricted so we need to put false and if you put true the user would just need to have permission to run the command and then on the next line we're going to do emit net which triggers global events and we're specifically targeting a event that we're going to make on the client side and that event is going to be called the greet. Whenever you trigger events you, on server side, you need to run source into it. And since source is already defined right here, the game will know what source is. And we can just go ahead and put that in and then followed by 
name, which is our argument. And this is a great example on how to send um, put from a player to client side. And on client side, we're going to make, basically it's like a handler. So we're listening for the event to be um, triggered. So we're doing on net and then greet. And the parameter is name, which is a string. And that's what we're waiting on. And the same thing equals greater hand and then curly brackets. And we're also going to make a function. The function, you just type the word function. And then after it is the name of your function. So for me, it's going to be PL greeter. And then um, after PL greeter, we want to trigger the function with the name. So we want to make the parameter name, which is a string. And then we would do const get the player's name. And once we get the player's name, which is from the player ID, so that's like the client side getting the player name. Player ID is like the player that you control. That's how you get specific players on client side. And then we're going to trigger another event within this function. So we're going to trigger the server event that we're going to make. So we're going to do emit net, and then we're going to call this server colon greet followed by PL name, which is our player name, and then the name that was put in the input. And then make sure you save this and make sure that we're on NPM run watch. That way, every time we press save, it automatically builds the script. On the server side, we need to listen for the event server colon uh, greet and then we need to pass two parameters so the a greeter is a string and then the name is also a string so the name again it points to the um, argument that the player is going to input and we're going to just make a console log it's basically just like a print and we're going to press the the key called tilde it's right it's the button right under escape so we're going to press that button, it's called tilde, and we're going to say dollar sign, curly bracket, greeter, curly bracket, greeted, again, dollar sign, curly bracket, name, curly bracket, and then like an exclamation point. And right under it, we're going to actually create a chat message. So in the chat message, we're going to emit net, and the event's called chat mess message. And this is a client event. That's why we're doing emit net. This is not a server event. And we're gonna do um, minus one because we're uh, going to send the message to all players. And then we're going to do curly brackets again. And we're gonna say square bracket and then the tilde key that's under the escape. We're gonna do shift tilde, R shift tilde. So that's the color red. And then we're going to say dollar sign, curly bracket, greeter, and then greeted, dollar sign, curly bracket, name. And we're going to make, um, we're going to do red for the greeter, and then we're going to do white for the words after it. Let's do blue. So this basically says whenever we run the command, we're going to do um, command slash greet followed by a name. So that's basically like the format. So greet and the name. I'm gonna put an example slash greet Jack's danger. So that's how we're gonna do it. So if I did slash greet and I did um, John Doe, it would, it would take my argument, which is John Doe, and I would put it in here and it would go to this event which we actually have to trigger the function. So to trigger the function, you just write it out and then put any parameters you need into it. If there's none, you just leave empty parentheses, but since we have a parameter, we have to put it in. So it takes the name, it sends it to here. The name is inserted into the function as a parameter. The function takes that name and then takes also the player name, and this is the player name that um, of the person who ran the script. So for me, I think my player name is Jack Stanger, 
and then it's going to trigger the another server event that we created just now that actually sends in a chat message and that's going to include our player name and then the name that we put in our argument which is the part after the command and it's going to put the greeter which is us that we ran the command and then the name which is what we put after the command and also we want to make sure that our players in our game know how to use the greet command so we're going to make um, a set immediate and this is a typescript function we're going to do parentheses and then empty parentheses and then we're going to do equals greater hand sign followed by curly brackets we're going to do chat add suggestion add suggestion the name is slash greet and then we're gonna say run this to greet a player to the server and then we also need to make an array as well so right after this we need to put a comma and then square brackets inside these square brackets we need to do curly brackets and we do need to do name colon name and then comma help colon name of the player you want to create to server and then a comma and then right here we can put semicolons right there this is how the players know how to use the command so this adds a suggestion which says slash greet is run this to greet the player to a server and then the help is part where it takes the name it says name the player you want to greet to the server that way players know how to run the command and now all we have to do is just restart our script with ensure and then your script's name and we can go in our game here and we can do slash greet and as you can see we have the, uh, the little suggestion right here so slash greet run this to greet the player to the server and then followed by the name of the player you want to greet to the server so if i wanted to greet john it says jack stanger is red greeted is white and then john is blue and if we wanted to change the colors you probably already saw it but you can go in the 5m documentation you can go to game references and then text formatting down here and what i'm using is actually these so the shift tilde button followed by r or a g or any of these letters to make any of these colors into the text so let's say i wanted um, the greeter to be green and then let's say the text can be uh, yellow and then the player that's greeted to the server can be gray so let's do green yellow and then gray g y c so g right here y and then c for this everything after this is going to be green unless specified otherwise so i specified that greeted is going to be yellow so it's not going to be green anymore and then name is not going to be yellow so it's going to be a gray and then the exclamation point is going to be a yellow not gray and now we can just go in our server restart our script run it again and now we have green jack stanger greeted uh in yellow john in white and then the exclamation point in yellow as well and that's basically it for the video that's how you create events that's how you create functions so use this knowledge to play around with typescript in 5m make little scripts like this that just put chat messages and then work your way up into anything that you can imagine so thank you all for watching again this is the part three of my playlist if you have not seen the previous parts please do so and that way you'll be caught up on everything but that is all for me you guys uh, thank you all for watching and uh deuces